Hey, this is Dan Osman with True Way Homes, and today I'm going to be talking about how I connected a makeup fresh air damper at the bottom to a range hood uh, venting system so that we can create a closed loop air cycle that's not pulling air out of your living space. Um, if you want more tips like this on building a healthy tiny house, click subscribe. Okay, so first I want to talk about why we need this system in the first place. Um, whenever you cook, you create things um, like moisture, uh, carbon monoxide, um, greasy air, carcinogens, all these things you don't want inside of your living space, especially in a tiny house. It's a small area. Um, you want to keep it as pure as you can. So that's why we have a range hood. It's a must, just like any house, but especially in a tiny house. Um, the, the other side of it is um, the air that you're pulling out of the range hood. You don't want it to be creating a negative pressure in your living space. You don't want to be taking the air out of your living space, the conditioned air. So what you want to have is a damper like we have that will allow fresh air to come in from the outside and then be cycled up through the range hood. So it'll come up underneath the cooking surface, come around it, and be sucked up through so that it creates a closed cycle of air and you're not using the air inside your space because we have an ERV system, an energy recovery ventilator, that um, handles the air and changes it over like once an hour. It completely replaces all the air so it makes it fresh. Um, and we don't want anything competing against that process. Um, so we keep, keep a closed loop. So this thing has its own air called makeup air. So we wanted to have the damper, um, which is down here, and this will be under the cooking, the cabinet, and it will actually go into the cabinet and we'll have perforated um, areas around the cooktop, which I can show in a later video, um, and the air will come up through there and then get sucked up through the range hood, which will be up above just like any other range hood. This is the actual range hood. I just have it so that you can see the bottom, because this is how I had to wire it, and I screwed it to the wall temporarily just so I could do the wiring. Um, so I didn't want to have just a hole in the house so the damper um, allows that hole to be shut when you don't want to use the air and open when you do want to use the air so the challenge I had was how do I keep how do I have the damper open when the, when it's on and closed when it's off without having to go under and turn on a switch every time a separate switch uh, I wanted it to be one switch you turn this on everything happens automatically so that's when I started my research. Um, I looked at videos, couldn't find a video that actually had this configuration and told how to do it, so I thought I made my own. That's why I'm doing this. Um, so then I called the manufacturer of the damper that I bought, figured out what each wire was doing inside of that, called the manufacturer of this range hood, figured out all the wires, uh, what they were doing. Um, from that point, um, I realized what wires need to be connect, connected where, and what voltage needed to be changed or, well, I'll show you that. Um, because this is a 120 volt system and the damper is 24 volt, so I had to step that down. So the first thing I did was figure out where the wires are going, like I said, and I had to actually get, I just have this held on here. This is the switch. Um, this was where the old switch was up here, and I took it out. And I'm going to use, I'm going to put a new switch in here because I needed a double pull toggle switch. So it gets a little complicated, um, but I brought the power in here, and then if, it, if I put it on low, the power goes to this side, and it turns the motor on, and then the other wire opens the damper. And if I turn on high, then it turns the motor on high, and then the other wire uh, opens the damper. When it's in the middle and the, and the motor's off, 
the damper shuts. So, once I figured out all the wiring, and then once I realized I needed a double pull toggle switch, um, it was pretty simple after that. Now I just have to fit the pieces in here. I have to somehow put it in here and put these transformers in. So the next step was, um, the next step was changing the voltage. So I had to get two transformers. These transformers take 120 volts and they reduce it down to 24 volts coming out the other end. They're usually used on doorbells and small appliances. Um, but you have to, for this one, I had to get 24 volt transformers. So I had to get these two and that will, um, that runs down, these wires come out of here and they run down and they go to the damper and that tells the damper what to do. So, um, so when I came into the housing of the range hood, I split off and went to one transformer with a hot wire, which has power, and that wire goes down through here and it connects there. Then I had another wire that comes off the toggle switch so that if it's on high or low, power will come over here transfer into 24 volt and go down to the switch. So those are the two hot leads that tell the damper when to open and close. Um, if you want more detail on the exact wiring and placement, uh, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer those questions. Um, but for right now, uh, I don't want to get too messy with all the details, but that's pretty much how the flow works. Um, and as I'll show you an example here, I'm going to turn on low and you can see the damper is opening. And if I switch it to high, it still opens. And then when I turn it off, it will shut it. So, I accomplished what I needed to, and now I just have to put these wires inside the wall cavity um, up to where the range hood is going to be mounted and then once I get the wall, sh wall tongue and groove on I'll mount this on and you'll never see any of this stuff. So um, yeah that's how I came up with a solution and I wanted to share